Um, and one of my favorite, pandiculation. Pandiculation is that urge we experience to stretch oh, and release. You'll notice that other mammals do that, dogs and cats do that. And I take this practice of pandiculation or what I call a body yawn into every movement. And in fact, I have replaced stretch sensation with what I call a body yawn or an expansion. So what's so special about this practice? Well, uh, it happens to work with the auxetic nature of fascia. So it, fascia has this kind of um, expanding quality. It gets thicker, not thinner as you move it. So we want to work with the, with the hydrating quality of fascial tissue. So how does it work? Well, it influences, again, this area, your diaphragm, breathing, your psoas. Prior to pandiculation, I spent years, I was obsessed with, you know, releasing the diaphragm and psoas, as I'm sure many of you are. I came from a Pilates background, spent lots of time using uh, props for self-myofascial release, trying to get this inner release of the tension in the body. So pandiculation is a great way to experience that. So um, why don't you try that with me? So if you can imagine that you've just woken up for the first time today and go into a um, spontaneous stretch and releasing sensation and just notice what that feels like. Does it feel like a normal stretch or does it feel different? And the next time you go into that practice, can you explore what parts of you move, what parts are you finding expand, and what parts um, don't move as much? So let's explore that again. So finding that quiet sensation, beginning with that urge to stretch or yawn, Oh, and then release. So there are three parts to this practice. Uh, before we go there, uh, I'm curious to know what parts for you moved. If you found that you were stretching your arms and, you know, kind of going into this and focusing more on your upper body, then um, there's less of an, an expanding sensation from the inner body. So my tip for you for pandiculation is to tune in and really get into expanding this thoracolumbar area. It's the area where the tissue can get really sticky. So we're going to go through this um, in a way that might seem obvious, but really focus on that second part of the body yawn. So part one is the urge. And then in the second phase, Ballooning into your inner body is finding those areas that you need to unwind without pulling too much on your arms. Oh, and then release. So everything happens right here in the trunk area. Um, that third phase is, is holding and then releasing. So let's do that once more. So finding the urge. Where is the expansion? Keep going with it. Oh, and that final urge is the sigh. So that's how you start to experience this body yawning. Now, every time the body moves, it does a little mini expansion. So in our movement practice, 